What up, everybody? It's your boy Terrell, and I'm back with another video. Right beside me, as usual, well, I got my beautiful wife, Miss Rebecca. Hey, y'all. Oh, she's being shy. Don't worry about it. And today, we're coming back with another review. We just got done seeing, in the year of 2021, the new Candyman film. Uh, if you aren't not familiar with Candyman, I'm saying his name too many times. I need, I need. <laughs> I was like two right Holy there. Holy mackerel. But this goes back to the 90s, early 90s, and our childhood. Uh, we grew up with it, and I'm terrified of them. Um, I don't like mirrors to this day because of that. But, ridiculous. side note, here's our review and reaction to the new Candyman movie of 2021. <laughs> I didn't even jump. I'm not scared of no candy man. Oh man, so so this new Candyman movie, right? Let me make sure I get all this right. It was it's it's made well. Jordan Peele, we all know Jordan Peele. He has uh he was one of the writers of this of this uh new um franchise of Candyman. This is directed though by Nia Da Costa. I think that's how you say her name, Nia Da Costa. She's a uh, she's a black woman, so you know, hey, that's dope. Jordan Peele, that's dope. That's dope. That's really dope. And and I kind of put two and two together on this one because one of the main stars in this movie is Tiana Paris, who who plays the character Brianna Cartwright. And for those of you who don't know, I, I mean, I'm not too familiar with her, but I I am familiar with her from uh uh. WandaVision, Marvel. <laughs> I was going to say, I know you ain't forget. Oh, you just man. told me. Oh, man. It's this nasty Ridiculous. drink. But that uh -oh. uh, WandaVision, and it makes sense because here's some other information for those who may not know. Nia Da Costa is also uh, directing, I, if I'm correct, I'll be messing stuff Don't up. Don't be thinking you'll be on notice. I, I think so. I think Jeez, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Man. But she's also directed a new Captain Marvel movie. And I'm pretty sure they're interest they're 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 introducing um Tiana Paris character from WandaVision to that. Great. Great. So <laughs> that's enough of that. Let's go back to Candyman. All right, so <laughs> this movie has got what mixed reviews? Yeah. And for me, I was one who I really loved the first Candyman movie. Yeah, we were kids. I was scared. Terrified. We were kids. And then Shit, when I watching. watched it, as I got older, I was still scared. As an early teenager. But no, now, in my adult life, I was still well, scared. I watched the original like a month ago, <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay. Mm, nah, I watched it a few years ago. Maybe like six. Yeah. I was still scared. Well, what... But what, I love mirrors. Well, let, let, well let's, let's give us this... Let, let me give y'all this background. The reason why, I don't know about you, but the reason why I was so terrified as a kid because Candyman took place in Chicago. and It we, was close to Rockford. Yeah, we live in that city. Um, <laughs> so we don't we don't live too far from Chicago. We stay in Rockford. Y'all know now. Oh, gosh. So, yeah. Ain't no time. Nah, we, no. we, we live here, yeah. They run up on me. They don't know where we lived in the house, Negro. Anyways, so yeah, but anyway, yeah. so we was not too far from Chicago. So when we seen Candyman and we was like, "Oh, this is in Chicago," yeah, we was terrified. I don't like mirrors. I love mirrors. When we first got I together, she no was trying to put mirror. she was trying to put mirrors everywhere, and I'm everywhere. like, "Why is you putting all these mirrors up in the house?" Okay, well, I like mirrors, and I'm not scared of that because it's not real. It's a fictional character. Is it? No. Is it? Is it fictional or non-fictional? Is it? Which one is it? Now I'm getting confused. Is it? Come on now. Help me out. Is anyway, it? I do not think that. It may be. I don't know. You just never know. Maybe look in the history of it. It might be a real story. Who knows? Yeah, man. Yeah. It could be. I don't know. But anyway. um, Back to the movie. I was really nervous to go see it because people were saying, oh, it wasn't good. Some people said, yeah, it was good. But I was like, okay, whatever. Um, Let's check it out for ourselves. We got to have our own opinion. Yeah. Right? I um, I liked it. I enjoyed it too. I will say that I did enjoy the movie. If you had to rate it, 
on a scale of one to 10, what would you give it? Mm -hmm. Scale of one to 10, I would probably give this movie probably about a good, uh, I would give it like a high six. What? No seven. I mean, it wasn't the best, but I, I did. I would give it like an eight. Uh, well, that's you. But I did, but I, but I did enjoy the movie though. I, I did too. I did enjoy I the movie. To I'm not get, saying it was bad. Or I nothing. was starting I, I to get it. a little restless because in the beginning it was taking a little bit too long to like, you know, get going, and I don't like stuff to take too long. To well, it, it, well, you gotta understand, like <laughs> it had to build this, it up a little bit. Yeah, because this, this, this one is a sequel to the first one. And so they the had first to have one, a storyline. Yeah, to the first one came to. out in what ninety two, ninety four, something like that. Me, it was it was it was thirty years ago, thirty years ago. So you know you gotta kind of give it some dialogue. But it, it, it built up really good. Um, it, it really did. It built up really good because at first when okay, so we're gonna be giving some spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, you probably want to see it before we before you watch our review video because we're gonna give a little bit. Maybe. We do get spoilers. Unless you enjoy um, spoilers and you don't plan on going to see it. And you just I mean, even if you go to see it and we give you some spoilers, you could be like, oh, that's what they was talking about. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but um, in the movie when I thought that the William character, I didn't know he was the little boy who seen Candyman in the laundromat in the beginning. I'm thinking Anthony was the yeah. little boy. So that was confusing to me until I was like, oh. Yeah, the, the William character, mm -hmm. William Burke, played by Carmen Domingo. Um, at the beginning of the movie, it shows a little boy in the projects of Caprini Green. 1977, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he had to go do the laundry and they were talking about the story of Candyman and uh, he went to go do his laundry and, and they heard about it, but nobody actually had seen him or whatever. Nobody actually had seen him. Um, and they said he was uh he was hiding in the walls because he actually had seen him, but they they thought that he was committing all these um crimes in the area because like uh they were finding razor blades and and candy. candy, and it turns out the guy was actually innocent. He didn't. He wasn't the one doing it because um was he? he? Yeah, because they said he when he yelled and screamed, they killed him on the spot, and then weeks later. It, the Raiders oh, kept yeah, popping yeah, that's up right, that's right. for weeks. The Raiders kept popping up, and so they were like, "Okay, you know, homie was innocent." So they killed this man. And he was innocent. Mm -hmm. You know, he had the hook, and he was gave out candy. You know, that was the backstory of it. And uh, but it, it, it was it was a good movie. I think it it was like it had a nice little twist. Yep, the twist was good. It had a nice little twist. Um, I don't know. There was a lot of. It was suspenseful, but it was horror, so it had to be. Um, the main character. The music was weird to me, though. Like it's that. a horror movie, suspense. Like the the music for the suspense was like a little weird for me. I'm like, oh, this sucks. But we knew something was gonna happen because of the music or whatever. But... Yeah. But the main character was uh was Brianna Cartwright and Anthony. and Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. McCoy. Anthony McCoy. Mackie. We Anthony did. McCoy. Do not take him to the movies because he ain't one gonna remember nothing, and two going if he do remember, it ain't gonna be the right stuff. But then it'd be me. Oh no, it's him. No, I be messing stuff up all the time. But it's played by uh, yeah, uh I think his name is Yaya. Is that how you say it? I ain't gonna say Yaya, Yaya Abdul. I had never Mateen. seen him before. I, I think I seen him somewhere, but I can't recall. But he did good he as did that good. character, he as as good. as the. Main character playing, it had, uh, playing his transformation to. Spoil alert. Never mind. No. Wa watch it, y'all. Okay. But the movie was political. <laughs> it had some political things Man, in the movie. Man, look, okay. Because it talked about uh, mm -hmm. how the government threw all these people together, which we call the projects, and uh, take away all the resources and stuff like that. And the projects was mainly composed of, you know, African Americans and everything, and so it has some political stuff. Yeah, it did. you got to watch deep to, to to follow that, you know, a little bit. I caught something, but I, I probably won't disclose it on here. Um, at the end of the movie, um, when we were riding home, and I was like, mm, Candy Man, um, all his victims were. Well, what's it? Nah. Yeah, we'll we let them watch and see if they figure it out. No, 
we gotta okay. leave something to to all let right. them think about it. All right. all right. And so that was that was that was something for me. But then at the end, when you see what transpired with Brianna and Anthony and the police officer, if you follow, you'll pick that up. It was it was it was deep. It was it was good. It had uh, deep moments. Uh, a lot of people don't like seeing movies for the political responses, but once again, this this movie was directed by a black woman, written by a black male. So a lot of times, what we do in our culture is we do put political stuff on there because you got to understand, you got to realize, and you have to remember they wouldn't let us on the big screens. They dang sure wouldn't let no black woman direct no movie along with a black writer. So we've come a long way. So yes, we do put political stuff in movies. We do. I mean, yeah, we do. and if you see it, you it see it. If it you don't, you don't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, I, I I picked it up, you know, um, and it it was it for me, you know, but it was it was it was deep. It was good. It was get your mind going if you get your mind going if you pay attention to. But you have to pay attention if you're if only you're not going if you're to, only looking for the horror, the gore, the killings, the slashing. You're gonna miss all the deep stuff. You're gonna miss the deep stuff, and you might not enjoy the movie. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for more than just the, the 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 slashing and the horror and the gore, you know, then you you might enjoy it like we enjoyed it. Um, I, I really honestly didn't think I was gonna like it because you know, but I I really did. I I did because I I'm I'm going like when I seen the trailer and knew it was coming out when I seen it months ago. I was, oh, I was really geek. I was geek because I I loved the first Candyman and even though I was scared, I really did like. So I was I was anticipating what this one would be like and if it would you know be as interesting and as you know and it and it was and then spoiler alert at the end the real original Candyman yeah they, that yeah. was that was good. The 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 original Candyman from the first one. Yeah, I, uh, I like that a lot. I can't think of what his character. Oh, I don't know uh, his, name his name either. His name. But he he, you know, the the first one. I like how they they brought him in because I did read that he was gonna make an appearance, but I was like, that's so dope to me. I really love that. The ending to me, the ending of the movie was like the highlight of the yeah, movie. Yeah, I was geeked. I was, was the, like cheesing in the theater. At yeah, it, it that was. Part. The the ending was exciting. I I enjoyed the ending the most out of the whole movie. It just I don't know. It what it did though was it set the movie up for a sequel. At the end, to set up a new a, a new modern day. He told Brianna, series. "Tell everyone about me. Hmm. Call my name." Because what happened was, if you guys don't remember, um, Vanessa Williams who played uh, and we should have picked this up before because her name um. And Marie or whatever, she returned in this one, and um, she said that you know after the first one they all made a pact not to say his name no more. You don't say his name, he doesn't come back. Oh yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. And um, should we spoil this? Should we spoil this? Whatever, it's up to you. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure where you're going, so I'm just listening. About Anthony. No, I told you don't tell them that. No, we cannot okay. tell them that. Okay, I'm not going to spoil that. No, because if we tell y'all that, it's no point in y'all watching the movie because I honestly loved it because I just couldn't... But I Once it started, like, I felt like when he got stung, I was like, oh, that's when my mind started going there. I already knew it. I already knew it when he got stung because I was like, oh, yeah. But So are you spoiling it without... I'm, Are you indirectly not, spoiling it? I'm not telling. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I knew it. So if you watch the movie and you haven't seen it and you pick up on that, you know, comment it and tell us. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, the movie's about an hour and a half long. Um, um, I took my 13 year old daughter. My 13 year old daughter went to go see it with us. Um, I don't know. You know, I, she said it was good. She she enjoyed it. Um, it's rated R. It is rated R, but it's rated R for the, the killing war and, and killing and yeah. stuff. There's no, no sex scenes or anything. Nudity or nothing like that. So, I mean, unless you don't you know, want your child seeing the, the gore and stuff, but uh, I mean, hey, you know, growing up in the hood, you see more, you see more, way more than that in real life. So we don't live in the hood, honey. I said growing up. You didn't grow up there either. I felt like I grew up in the hood. Ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were drive-bys on my street and stuff like that. I don't believe you, but no, no. I'm okay. Not... I'm gonna call your mom after this. You can ask her. 
You can ask her. Well, I'm not going to tell that There were drive on my street. I, um, but we, I, I didn't grow up in a private I, family. No, neither did I. I grew right. up on the west end of Rockford on Vista Terrace. Um, to the west end off Preston. Um, and, Man, and, and I can say, I can... We call this here little 20 twin twin. I, uh, wow. Is you done yet? No, Ridiculous. But anyway, I, um... I um I don't know I yeah that's a whole nother video we're talking about Candyman, um don't keep saying yeah. it now it came the original was in 1992 I, I thought so okay so yeah so it I was really good though if you, to me yeah I I enjoyed the movie um you know Anthony's an artist I a didn't paint he, uh, yeah a painter he paints yeah. and I didn't realize that the original dude was one too. Mm. The original Candyman guy. Remember when they was giving the background story? Oh yeah, yeah he, no, he went didn't. across the country. And, oh, um, painting the painting, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. and then he had like an affair with the lady, and that's why they did what they did to him. Yes, I don't, yes, I don't know if I remember that being the storyline before. I don't think that was. I don't or know. They didn't go ask. Him. I don't he, think they went because they did say that because... they did say that you know they stunk with the bees and all that. But I don't know if they went. I don't even thing. remember if I remember the reason for the bees from the first one. They just did it because they wanted to torture him, and he told them. Remember, he said, he said, be creative. That's why they cut his arm off. That's why they got the bees. That's why they set on fire. Because he was like, don't just kill him. Be creative. We killing him. Really? Yeah. That's yes, darling. Yes, darling. Well, I miss that. Okay, so. Yeah. Yeah, so I miss things too, you know? Of course you do. If you watch uh, some of our previous videos, you'll see that she missed things quite often. And I do be right. Is you, going, is you finished or is you done? Good grief. Anyway, you guys, um, we're not trying to make this too long. We just want to tell y'all it's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, go see it. If you've seen it, let us know what you thought in the comments yep, yep, about yep. it. If you agree with, you know, we not we didn't really talk like in depth about it because we don't want to give too much away. Yeah, we didn't want to spoil. That, we, we do spoilers in our video, that, but we don't um, want to spoil haven't everything. watched it, but it was a good movie overall. I yeah. think the character roles were good, like who they chose for the characters. I think that was really yeah. good. Yeah. Um, definitely. I don't. I don't know. I couldn't. I'm trying to think of something that I thought was like maybe bad, and it really wasn't nothing. I don't think I felt like there was nothing bad. Like that I mean, was it like, was, oh, I don't do that, or it shouldn't have been like. Oh, well, it was just a little slow, but it has, to, it has to. Paint it, a story. it has to paint a story. In the beginning, it was slow picking up, but once it got there, it, it was. But there. you know, but the beginning was a little intense though, because it started off with the little boy. Yeah, but then I was like, what's what's next? Like, well, I was yeah. ready to see some killing at that point. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I don't know. Y'all go see it. Mm -hmm. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Comment down below, man. Let us know. For real, for real. Positive vibes always and positive vibes only, man. Let's let's keep this thing going. We got more videos to come, man. We enjoy y'all watching our videos. We appreciate y'all watching our videos. And we got, we got plenty more coming. So, stay tuned. And the only way you can stay tuned is by subscribing. Turn on that notification button. So do that immediately. Immediately. What she said. It's your boy, Terrell. <laughs> My wife, Rebecca. We out of here.